can I get a little bit more volume on this on, on the main mic? Yeah, just just the, the, the one wire mic mic check. Oh, there we go. Ultimately, all thoughts are sponsored by either love or fear. This is the great polarity. This is the primal duality. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. That that's that's excellent, fellas. That's good. So let me. I'm gonna go back on these two guys down. I remember how fake I was when the word real was popular. <laughs> now I know better and do better exposing truth passionately. A dragon breathing fire using his mind as a pilot light. Inspiring those who inspire me with testimonial melodies. The loyalty of a heartbeat giving you love to the last breath. I serenade the female form with a culture that's lyrical, going deeper than most surface dwellers, going to the depths of pain and emerging with joy. I wear it proud like a traveler with knife per diem. Glory be to the magnificent, even though experiencing love on its highest level is praise enough. All right, this is your fault, brother. What they have to do with fear and love, though? Uh, well, I had to start with a digression before I went on with this lesson. So for all who did not see the fear and love in that, excuse me while I bring it back, I said... <laughs> I remember how fake I was when the word real was popular. I feel what you spit, Blue, but uh, let me see if this is an accurate description. Back when you didn't know better, mm -hmm. your love was about the treasure. Yeah. In hopes for a woman whose kitten was spitting, you were basically just pretending. Mm -hmm. Pretending to be the being she needed for the time being in order for you to accomplish your mission. Is there anything I missed it? Okay, that was over y'all head. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> anytime you are fake, you have a fear of being yourself. Oh. Okay? And the reason why you have a fear of your being yourself is because you don't love yourself enough to be real. Now, now that you know, uh, y'all good now? Can I get back to the verse? Romance flow. <laughs> being a proficient lover of women never ever ever inspired them to love me back properly. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fear is one word with many dynamics. If man and woman don't approach their union as one body, they have static. Building a house with love in my one and only marriage. We were told from the start, building on a foundation that lacked courage. Her fear was the fear of growing old alone. As well as the fear is facing life's many problems on her own. You see, she saw me as a guardian, which actually wasn't a problem then, because I was ministered by the type of men who did everything they could to protect the divine feminine. Excuse me, but I think you misunderstand what the divine feminine means, see? In order. In order to protect the queen on her throne, she must first claim her throne. Okay. Well, since I shouldn't really talk about people that aren't here to protect themselves. <laughs> Excuse me while I take ownership of my own. You see, my fear was not being good enough. Always into that habit of trying to fit inside people's lives and stuff. Never asking myself honestly, were they ever a good fit for my life, let alone were they working as such. So now you have a foundation sponsored by thoughts of fear and built on lies. Hot damn! Love is a house quickly sinking inside lies that are quicksand. Now the fear of loss kicks in. Forcing new lies to manifest. But how is it possible for love to be a loss? 
Pause. How is it possible, even if it's just for a short time, to experience love on its highest level and somehow that be a loss? So I'll bring it back. How is it possible for love to be a loss? First off, human beings are not property. Second, a soul's purpose is to experience what it chooses to experience. So with love is your choice, love not only helped me to let her go, but it told me to hold the door open for her. Well, all that matters, as well as good matters, glory be to GLT, look at me, I'm all polite and shh. All right. <laughs> you see, loving myself kept my ego in check. Now, y'all know how that ego gets. Twisting the truth, making you feel like they've committed a disrespect. But you disrespect yourself, but it will leave that you don't let go. Let our voices echo. Let our values endure. Look, observe, verify, enjoy. You might have missed that, so I'll say it once more. L-O-V-E. Let our voices echo. L-O-V-E. That our values endure. L O V E, look, observe, verify, enjoy. L O V E, the decision is yours. All right.